Upgrading from a Kiva Backup for WordPress Core to a Kiva Backup Professional is a little tricky, but it is well worth the effort for all the extra functionality you get. If you have only recently installed the Core version, you can choose to remove the plugin and install the Professional version, as shown in Video 2. However, this method will lose all your existing configuration and backups, so you might prefer to follow the method outlined in this video. Once you have purchased Akiva Backup for WordPress Professional, you should check that you are logged into the akivabackup.com website and then go to the download section. Here we can see the link to the latest version, so click to download it to your computer. The Akiva Backup for WordPress Professional plugin is a zip file and we need to extract that. On most operating systems, you can do that simply by double clicking on the file name. We can see we now have a new folder with all the files in. We now need to transfer these files to our web server and to do that we will use a FTP program. I am going to use FileZilla but you can use any FTP program that you like. To begin with, connect to your server. Once connected, make sure that you're in the public HTML or the web root of your server and navigate to the WP content folder and then plugins. We now need to rename our Akiba Backup core folder to Akiba Backup. To do this, right click and edit the name. When that has been done, we now need to upload the files from our computer. As you can see, we get a warning about overwriting existing files, and we must ensure that we do that. Once all the files have been uploaded, we can return to our WordPress site. From your dashboard, select Plugins, Installed Plugins. Here we can see a Kiba Backup for WordPress Professional in the list, and you should activate the plugin. And on the left hand menu, you will see a new link directly to Akiba Backup. Depending on your screen size, you might find it easier to collapse the left-hand menu. Right at the top, we have a message about entering our download ID. This is required for updates to the plugin, so let's go ahead and fix that. Return to the AkibaBackup.com website, make sure you are logged in, and select My Subscriptions from the menu. If you now scroll down, you will see your download ID. Simply select and copy it. Return to your WordPress site and scroll to the bottom of the screen and select System Configuration. Select the Update tab and paste your ID in the Download ID field and Save and Close. We can see that the message has now disappeared and we have successfully completed the upgrade the Kiba Backup for WordPress.